Now, the bench top in your kitchen is probably the most important decision you're going to make, both for function and design. And Hamish is here with Kristen Reed from Mastercraft Kitchens to help with choosing the right one for you. Morning, Hamish. Morning, Kristen. Morning, team. That's right. Okay, one of the things I've seen over my years of design, of course, is that preparation is key. So um, what are the main considerations you should take into, into the thought process when you want to choose a bench top? Well, there's a few main considerations, and they are who's going to use the kitchen? Are the kids using the kitchen or is it for a rental property? And how long are you going to stay in the house? And the most important consideration for me, being a designer, is what colour do you want? Because that can determine what material you choose. Ah, OK. Well, talking of materials, there's a plethora of materials out there. Oh, that's so, a big oh, word. That was a big word. <laughs> wow. So there's lots of different options. What are the benefits of each material? OK, so first up we've got laminate. So that's um, high pressure laminate, so entry level product. Looks great. I mean, this kitchen is a great example because it's a stunner. Mm. Yeah, it's using entry level products. A uh, huge range of colours and, you know, it's, it's never ever going to break the budget. Um, next, uh, after that, the steel part really is stainless steel, and this is a great option for durability. Yeah. It always looks awesome, it's really timeless. And if, you, if you're replacing a beach shop in a rental property, say, um, it's a really good option because it's just not going to show the marks. It's hard work, it's you know, heat resistant, scratch resistant, and all of those things. Yeah, it looks great. Acrylic is a great option if you're going to do anything with curves or shapes or different edge profiles, or if you have a really large island top where you don't want to see a visible join. This joins seamlessly, so you can have it as long as you like, and you know, waterfall ends, everything just looks like it's formed in one piece. Next step up, cost-wise, we've got composite stone, also known as engineered stone. This can come in a heap of different looks, from matte concrete sort of styles to a marble look, um, or even just your white top with a speckle. But you'll, you'll find that you pay a lot more for the marble look or uh, matte sort of concrete. Right, so there are quite a bit of looks there, isn't there? So what type of bench top suits certain styles and enhances the overall look of the kitchen? Well, soft industrial sort of style is really in fashion at the moment. So we're finding, you know, stainless steel back bench tops with a really, like, sort of feature concrete island. Um, oh, those... that looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> And the really contemporary minimal look is in too where everything's quite sort of black or white and then you know the timber matched with that warms up the space but it's really the hero of the design so it's really popular too but mixing materials where you've got an entire island in a different color or in this case we've got a black island so that entire island is made from stone even the wow. doors so that's a really nice looking kitchen and it's very, very timeless. The only real standout feature is that marble splashback. Yeah, it looks beautiful. It does look beautiful, doesn't it? <laughs> so many options, I didn't know really. And I guess, you know, there's a lot of different themes. What's on, what's on trend at the moment? We really are seeing a lot of concrete look composite stone bench tops. Um, those really muted sort of greys are really in fashion at the moment. And your um, matte finishes, so matte uh, surfaces for granite. So taking the granite and giving it a leathered finish or a suede finish is really popular. What about design? How does um, each type of bench top sort of affect the, the, the style of the, the kitchen and how it's going to work out? Well, if you go for, um, it's just choosing the right colour. So you can see if you're going to go for an industrial look kitchen, putting a white stone um, composite, like a, it's not going to achieve that look. So you really need to talk to your, your designer to help put that whole look together. And you know, if you're wanting some inspiration, we've got a great look book out at the moment um, with heaps of different styles just to show you different options. Okay, I'm a fan of the granite. I was so. like, I wanted to ask about but, granite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell us about granite. Granite's making a bit of a comeback because of those nice finishes that we can use. You know, there's leathered looks, like I was saying, and it really takes that shine wow. off that can make it look, you know, those old sort of busy granites can make it look a little bit dated. Mm. It's really bringing it into 2018. And what about the marble? Yes, it's still in. Uh, it is, but it's a high maintenance, like me. Um, <laughs> so you sort of need to treat it like a white shirt. So it's not a big seller for people who love to cook um, because, you know, you've got to be careful with your red wine and... Um, curry and things like that, so more of a feature bench top. And um, timber, timber's the other option. I've got a timber bench top. You too. Uh, yeah, I love it, but yeah, what, <laughs> what do you do with that? So that can be either a really good price, if it's just an island bench top where you've got an oil finish, or if it's got a sink in it, it can be quite costly. So it's not a big seller, but it looks great with white or black, just to warm up spaces. Or yeah. in the country kitchen, there's you know, the central, um, you know, with a busier sort of a granite, just to break it up. So yeah. 
so beautiful. So mixing oh. mixing those um, those different textures, eh? It looks really cool. We're all about mixing materials at the moment. I was going to ask quickly, is timber durable enough for a bench top? What do you think? It is if you have the high build resin finish, particularly around sinks. Right. But on an island, if you've got um, marks and scratches, at least if you've got an oil finish and there's mm. no running water, you can sand it back and give it another oil. It's oh, very yes. easy to maintain yeah, and it true. looks great. Okay, and what have you got in front of us here? What are these? Just a few... Um, I should know this already <laughs> after that lesson. <laughs> a few samples, um, just to show you a few differences. This is a composite stone uh, that looks a little bit like concrete. So it has the wearability of co um, composite stone where it's non-porous and scratch resistant whereas concrete can be a bit porous. Um, and here's um, Hamish's favourite mm. granite colour. So I thought I'd bring that along. Um, so that's a, a granite which has been around for many, many years, and it does have that high polish finish, so um, more suited to a traditional kitchen. And just a marble look composite stone. So to show you that you can have that marble look without it staining and, yeah. Right, being stone. high maintenance, yeah. Yeah, so you can have that look without um, having to do any kind of maintenance at all. And... Next to that, we just have an acrylic bench top. So that's the one that we can curve and shape and form all different, everything you can think of. Lovely. That's fantastic. Great advice, as always. Yes, I'm, I'm a porous. <laughs> you're also high yeah, maintenance. Mate. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Kristen and Hamish. Now, if you're inspired, head along to mastercraft.co.nz and make sure you order their free 2018 lookbook now, which is out and is on the bench here to have a look at. There we go. Now, I'm gonna you can hold that up because okay, I'm going to cool. head off here. Thanks nice very much, work. guys. Good work. Sweet. I mean, there's so much thought that goes into a kitchen, so just get the experts. So they'll help you out, the team at uh, Mastercraft.